Hey, greetings my fat fighting friends. I am a nerd fighting fat and this is my weekly fat fighting update. I am doing alternate day fasting. I'm working out. I'm watching my sugar and this is my 26th week of being on Manjaro. I'm currently on the 10 milligram pen. So let's get right into the to the numbers for the week. So unfortunately this week I had a weight gain. I gained 2.6 pounds. So that puts my um, total weight loss at 126.3 pounds and on Manjaro 43.2 pounds. So, you know, a little bit of a step back. It seems like every so many weeks I, I have a little bump in the road. Um, as far as my uh, other numbers, my glucose averaged to be 110 um, is up a bit this week. You know, I probably didn't control my carbs as best as I could. I don't really have super accurate info on, on the calories and all the macros. We had a kind of a Super Bowl get together, people brought things. So it's kind of hard to say what exactly is in there, um, whether their stuff had different sugar, whether their stuff had, you know, it, it's hard to say exactly what I had. I, I felt like I did a pretty good job about controlling things. And I really do feel that like the, the gain isn't from what I ate. I think it's, it's probably just kind of water fluctuation. You know, a lot of times too, when you have a little bit higher carbs, that causes you to retain some water. So anyway, we'll see how it comes out over the next week or two. Um, I did get my two 36 hour fasts in. I did get um, five, five workouts in. Side effect wise, I had absolutely zero. So this is one of those weeks I wonder if the shot even worked at all. Um, normally at least I would get a couple of those, the burps you get from this stuff. I got absolutely nothing. And my hunger wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really, con didn't seem like it was controlled as much. And then with my blood sugar being up as well, I don't know, sometimes you, you wonder how, I think for the most part, these are really effective, but every now and then, um, you have a week where you, you kind of wonder, you know, what's going on. Hopefully if that's the, the, the way it goes forward that I don't ever have any side effects, I, I won't complain about that. But, um, as far as updates on, on the medication, um, I did get, a, a letter from my insurance back on why they re rejected my PA and all it basically said is they need proof of diabetes. So there's hope that I can. I can get this and not have to pay out of pocket. So I got to go make a, a visit to my, my doctor and, and take him that and see if I can get him to uh, write them a letter uh, stating that I have had diabetes uh, levels of A1Cs before I was medicating. So the... Uh, <clears throat> Fat fighting uh, weapon for the week. I'm actually really ex kind of excited about this one. Um, I watched a video with Dr. Perlmutter. Um, he wrote the book Grain Brain, if any of you guys have read that. And also with uh, Dr. Bickman, um, he wrote Why We Got Sick. Uh, he is a metabolism kind of, ex that's his expertise. And they were talking about a new sweetener called allulose. And there's a lot of really good benefits of this sweetener. Um, one of the things that it naturally does is it increases GLP-1. So that's the same as your Ozempic or Monjaro. Um, another thing it does is it inhibits glucagon, which and glucagon is what causes your body to release sugars. Again, so it's helping to control your, your sugars in your blood. It also increases your AMPK. Um, so if you've never heard of AMPK before, it's, it's Maybe you've heard of mTOR. This is the opposite of mTOR. So mTOR is what your body uses to build things up, like it helps to build muscles and so forth. And AMPK is what your body uses to break things down. Now, the way that metformin works to control diabetes is through uh, AMPK. So maybe that's uh, uh, this the sweetener, in addition to making your food sweet, could actually help with your diabetes. So it'd be really interesting to see um, if this takes off over the next couple of years, if these, if our foods that we're getting all everywhere is actually going to be helping us instead of, uh, being, being bad for us. 
Um, oh, I was going to mention too, exercise also kind of activates your, your AMPK. Anyhow, so for this allulose, um, one of the brands that is out um, is called RX Sugar. So I got a, a couple of these liquid forms. So this is pancake syrup that is um, zero net carb, zero glycemic load, zero sugar. Um, it does have 10 calories and two tablespoons. Um, but, uh, you know, this is uh, that's sweetened with this allulose. And I think maple is actually one of the things that this is produced from. It's a natural plant-based uh, sweetener. So, so I'm excited to try that though. Again, pancakes are full of carbs. So I have to have to see a clever way to try that. And then this one's just a regular, uh, sweetener, uh, that, that you can get. It's just, just liquid in liquid form. I also got, <clears throat> uh, they also have these, uh, mix-ins where it's just like, uh, you know, your regular sweetener packet. So you can just put one of these in your, in your uh, drink that you're trying to sweeten or with what you're what you're doing so um anyhow i'm excited to to give this a try and uh, to see um if it uh works as advertised so um it's keto certified plant-based certified blood sugar friendly so anyhow kind of excited for this one so uh check it out if you're interested um I, I searched RX Sugar on Amazon and it seemed like it was one of those reseller situations where it's not really coming from Amazon and they basically they go to the sites and kind of mark up the price a little bit. So I went right to the RX Sugar site where, where I got these, but um, like RX, like prescription is, is how it's uh, how it's put out here. So anyhow, uh, pretty excited about that. Um, if we can get some sweeteners that are that are healthy that are in and these things start getting put into diet sodas and all of these other other foods that would be fabulous for just everybody as a whole um let alone me personally so pretty cool okay so my fat fighting food for this week that i wanted to share with you guys is i'm just going to make what i call my my butter tea um, it's my kind of spin on on bulletproof coffee since I don't drink coffee. Um, so to do this, basically, I start off with my with my mug. I put one tablespoon of Kerrygold grass fed butter uh, in there, so that's already in there. Um, I've got my my Keurig teacup. I'm using African rooibos red tea. So this is uh, uh, from South Africa. It's uh, the Brits there call it bush tea. Um, but it's a herbal tea that's supposed to be good for your digestion. <clears throat> We've got brain octane, which is essentially a MCT oil, which has been shown to improve your use of uh, ketones. And it's also supposed to be really good for your, your brain, your clarity. Um, you can see I probably need to drink some right now. I'm kind of foggy. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some uh, collagen protein to it. So... Um, to start off with, oh, and then I'll add some sweetener. So I'll, I think I'll use allulose this time. So to start off with, we're just going to have the butter in, in the mug, and then we're going to go over to the Keurig. All right, so here I am at the Keurig. So we're just going to put this rooibos tea in there. All right, and then close that. And then I am going to pick the largest size. I know this mug will actually hold about 16 ounces, but we'll start with 12. And then I'm just going to uh, press that button there to start it off. And it should get going. It takes it just a second to heat up, and then it'll put the water in there. And then it'll come out. So we'll show you in the next step here in just a second. Okay, so I've finished putting that in there. So I just use one of these little uh, whisker guys. And then we'll just put that in there and kind of <clears throat> get that butter in there and mixed in and frothed up. Okay, and then I'm going to add in the allulose. So this is our sugar brand of the allulose sweetener. And then I've got one of these uh, 
measuring scoops of the collagen protein. And then I'm just going to put in like roughly a tablespoon or so of the uh, MCT oil. You don't want to use too much of that because that can give you some bowel issues, if, especially if you're not used to it. So if you start making these, maybe start with half a tablespoon. But it's, it's really good to keep you in ketosis. So this is the morning after I fasted, so this is how I'm breaking my fast today. All right, and there you have it. That is ready to drink. So th that's the wrap-up for this week. Um, another week, I had that bump in the road. Um, you know, it's like small gain. I've had six weeks in a row where I had losses, so um, it was bound not to keep going perfectly. You, you know, you never see like somebody's graph and it goes perfectly down. It's always kind of trending. It's the overall trend that matters. So I got to keep telling myself that and, and, and keep the faith. Um, I did do a separate video that I'm also going to be putting up. Um, it's the first in a series of uh, fat fighting methods. Uh, just so you guys can see a little bit more insight into what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, this one is, is I'm calling this series, uh, This is the Way. You know, like uh, one of my favorite shows. Anyway, um, the first one's on fasting. A um, couple weeks back, I had a, uh, a guy added a comment, you know, why am I bothering with fasting? And I wrote like a book in response. But I figured I could lay it out a little bit better. And, and hopefully... You know, this is something that really helps me, I feel, the, the fasting. And something I really, you know, before I even started on Manjaro, I lost nearly 100 pounds. So it was like 85, 86, somewhere in there, uh, pounds just from doing this fasting. And I think that this is really a key, um, something that we can, that is easy to do for, for the rest of my life. So anyway, hopefully it, uh, it can help you guys as well. So check it out if you're you're interested in that. And I kind of explain, uh, why I picked the length of the fasting that I did, did, and also what the effects of, uh, the, on your body from, from fasting. So anyhow, uh, hope you guys had a, a great week this week and hopefully nobody got too, too, uh, <laughs> too much, uh, excitement from the, from the Super Bowl. And so, um, apologize to the Niners fans and congrats to the Chiefs fans and, and uh, anyway, good, good times. So keep fighting the fat, guys. Cheers.